So um, uh, thank you for this invitation. And I will show here some work in progress I'm currently doing um, in this project already I mentioned uh, today morning um, uh, is this Erasmus Plus project. And um, I wish, uh, and this, my task in this project is uh, to develop ideas for interactive um, questions in the multi dimensional analysis uh, or calculus stuff. And um, this is what I like um, to do now. Because uh, in the in the higher engineering mathematics, we at some point will end up with uh, some uh, funny things like coordinate transformation when we are talking about the integration stuff, about two D domains or about three D uh, sets, and so um, I will start not with the promised three D stuff. I will start with some 2D uh, things and how to transfer it. Or I, the first idea is to transfer it, even this to combine stack questions. Then I will uh, go on with some features. Um, or uh, Alfred already mentioned uh, about the calculus of uh, two variables with a tangent plane, and I will. Um, uh, I will extend this even to a local uh, second order approximation of this function. From the, this is a point uh, you will have if you're coming from the optimization stuff. And one demanding thing, and uh, what where I'm very interested in, is the visualization of vector fields and how to. Uh, use all the stuff inside uh, the vector analysis if you are thinking about uh, the curl, um, at least. What, ha what I have done, let us start with integration in 2D. One point uh, very um, famous is the other um, polar coordinates. And here I um, started with this um, idea that one, one can generate using stack and a random uh, part of the 2D plane. And then we try to explain to the students that this uh, box will be transferred from uh, this point here to this arc. And that's why I have added um, two things in uh, this version. I will change now. Uh, I will change regularly between my browser and uh, my slides. So um, now you see uh, is this uh, a demonstration object, but this is, I see uh, another version. This is not the version I like to uh, show, but you see in general, only the paints uh, are um, interchanged. The idea is now I can uh, change here this box in the origin part. And then you see that um, the red area will change in the um, or polar coordinate. Or this is a, uh, to be honest, this is a, a Cartesian plane. And so the students could try to figure out what they have to do to co bring both areas in uh, coincidence. And the, so even they have in the uh, formative assessment uh, style, the, the chance uh, to figure out what happens and how to use this. Because what they have to do at the end, if they have exercises, they will see such a region and then they have to compute this limit um, and or to, use this uh, and for integration points. In, um, in, a, in a stack question type, 
This could be uh, done or it could be uh, seen in this way. And uh, you see, you can add two JSX graph planes in one uh, question. Uh, here, I have to thank to uh, the example to Stefan Bach you, uh, from yesterday. Um, from him, I learned a lot about the things. And here, the idea is, in my case, not to couple already the answer here. This is only to get an idea of the result, because the result should be given as a, a combination of pi and racial numbers, or here, even the radius should be written in uh, racial numbers. But to figure out what happened and what they do and what could be the proper ratio, this um, will be use therefore will be used this um, first uh, plane you see here. Another point in um, multidimensional analysis and in integration, these are curvilinear bounded um, sections. And I like to uh, train my students even in recovering such curves here so that here you see you have an orange um, area and now the question is how to find how to define the boundary curves here that the function will coincide and now you see you have the possibility to define four functions so the lower x function as uh, the lower y function um, of x um, or y upper uh, um, with, uh, uh, with respect to x and otherwise the x upper function with respect to y and even here. And if I change here this um, stuff, for instance, I can add here, um, um, a side, I can multiply with two and I can change this and then I will use Jesse code. Uh, one will see, okay, this looks better. And even you can change here um, the function for with respect to X. And then uh, here you should change to Y because here we have a question uh, or a function um, has to be uh, you have to find a function with respect to y. So and then you can plot this and now you see, okay, this is uh, there's a missing sign. Um, and this can be even um, done in a more generalized way. Um, if you add uh, several more um, curves and the point is that you can even add here something um, like a virtual box that you say, okay, you have this uh, part here, um, uh, the units is square, and then you have to take care that at the corners, uh, the curves will coincide, otherwise you will have here some lags. Um, the idea to generate this filled areas is to construct uh, polygonia, uh, polygons. And what I do is to running over these boundary curves and to construct uh, here this polygon and then I can fill it directly. So uh, this is the idea behind. Um, and at time it is not implemented in a library yet, but I sh think this is, would be worth to do. Now I will go on to a 3D because when we are talking about polar coordinates, the next step will be uh, spherical um, coordinates, what even could start with cylindrical coordinates, but I, dis I will show you the um, spherical coordinates um, stuff. And here, um, this, oh, uh, this is a mistake. This function will appear later. The idea you see here is the following. Um, we can generate this part of a sphere um, by using several parameters. And you will see here, I have two radian, uh, I have uh, two, uh, two 
the, the upper and the lower limit of the angle phi and uh, upper and the lower angle of the limit psi. And then I can dynamically uh, change this object. So I will show it um, in my uh, browser. You see, Um, here uh, is a slider um, Alfred already mentioned, and to get an overview, what what will we see here? And then you can change the radius, and um, you can choose here parts of such a sphere. And um, this is quite um, nice to see, but. If you think in, in exercises, then uh, what, what could be an exercise here or a question for students? You can generate uh, such a 3D object. That means all these parameters you see here would be um, random numbers coming from the question variable, variable part. And then the students uh, should figure out what are the limits. But um, in 3D, this is very demanding. And uh, so I decided to do it in a bit different way. Um, the idea I have chosen now is that uh, I will resize the view um, to uh, generate here, one geometry, you see this one is a, here it is a blue uh, geometry. I will um, decrease, sorry, uh, the red one. And now the, my idea is that the student uh, can, um, if, can find, uh, can try to coincide both sets. And here uh, the, the sliders to change the view, are very uh, helpful. And so one can here try to figure out, and at the end, he has to type in uh, his answer or, the sh or she. And now you see, uh, this can be uh, done in a more general way. And you, see, you uh, already uh, have seen here that I have started to use here the three variables, u, v, and w to um, generate uh, the geometry. And um, the idea is the following, and therefore I will go back to my slides. Um, if we have a transformation, then we need uh, for drawing such a geometry for a six parametric surfaces. And in the surfaces, uh, one coordinate is fixed. Um, here, u1 and u2, v1 and v2, and v, uh, w1 and w2. And at the end, we have a mapping of a box to um, the transformation t applied uh, to the box. And so it can be implemented in a very general way. And now I have chosen here as example, the uh, spherical coordinates. The idea uh, behind uh, that is to find a way for a general um, version to uh, use this transformation idea uh, without reprogramming everything. But as, uh, it is very interesting um, how fast it works and that is a geometry uh, with this um, um, line-based structures is very uh, fast, uh, um, very fastly done. Um, just if you are interested in, uh, I would just shortly show um, the idea I um, behind um, uh, the solution. Um, the idea is to put 
as most as possible inside the question variables of the stack variable stuff and uh, to use inside um, the Java uh, applet here or the Jesse code uh, stuff to read everything from uh, the Maxima part. And in this point here, it is quite independent. And even the sliders uh, can, be can be configured out of the uh, question variables. You see here the variables you want in it and so on. And these are nothing else, the triples, which are used to generate the sliders here for um, or inside the JSX graph applet. So this is a, enough about uh, integration domains. Now I will go on to calculus. Here, is a, you see the, the function will uh, appear again. Here you see an example function where we have two parameters um, can be chosen um, by or random numbers or can be coupled to sliders. And if you um, generate this in Maxima, the function could be uh, written uh, that way. And the only thing is to transfer this to um, the JSX graph part and to um, display this. But what can I do? If I have here such a surface, we can change the function by these three values. And we can drag around the point, as Alfred mentioned, in the domain of the function. And we can display in the tangent plane um, attached uh, to uh, the function graph. In Inside the Lava, Java applet uh, in the style of um, Alfred, we just have seen, we see here this idea of the function. So um, we have the dynamic uh, function graph, and then we can drag around here this uh, tangent plane. And now we could uh, ask, figure out a point, maybe um, uh, not the origin, it should be another point, but I will use now the origin, where the tangent plane is, um, or the, the gradient uh, is close to zero. That means that the tangent plane is parallel to the domain. And here we see again, uh, the sliders, it is uh, possible to work with them. And um, so, and we are sure that we will uh, always drag around only in that plane. And then one can go uh, to even to a stack uh, stuff. And then what changes? The slider will now. Um, removed and I will choose random numbers for the function to get the graph and at the end I will couple back as a point from the plane uh, for the answer and then I can evaluate this. The uh, Just to show you the code uh, Alfred just uh, sh um, has shown for this um, plain 3D, uh, you see here it's the same. And every this is uh, this are values, uh, dfx vec and dfy vec, which are depending on the function generated in the question variable part. But um, if you are thinking about optimization, then only not only the stationary points are interesting, then even the curvature at, uh, at the points at the surfaces are interesting. And now we can combine two function graphs. Now you see here, I can um, add a second function graph. And this is a local um, approximation of second order. And here we can even um, 
generate new types of question. For instance, one can say, please find a point where the Hessian is indefinite, or um, is there a point um, at the surface where the Hessian will be uh, positive semi-definite or something like that. This is a bit difficult here. And then uh, there might be it possible even to go on to a restricted optimization. Um, the advance or the advantage is that now we can generate all functions inside um, the maxima part. The problem I see here, but this is more um, uh, a stack question, what are families or uh, families of functions which could be parameterized so that you will a variety of functions which will not become boring um, to have different uh, questions. I will um, just state here some uh, funny facts I have uh, observed. Um, especially if you are using pi inside the Maxima code, it will be transferred to JSX graph with person pi. But Jesse code will accept pi, but this is at the end no problem, thanks to regular expressions, because well, it's easily to replace a person pi uh, with a capital uh, pi in the whole expression. And so you see, I will transfer to a text variable then I will uh, provide the replacement. And at the end, I can add the variables and everything is fine. Um, for a different point to transfer um, a point from the domain to the, to the stack part, I just created a point in the board, depending on the coordinates of the 3D point here. Just note, that uh, the um, API already has changed. So that this um, dot D3 um, is just noted in the version, needed in the version I'm using. It's 1.44 in the actual version. This can be um, neglected and you can write directly a dot X. And now I have, um, one point left. Uh, this is um, the part of vector fields. Here you see just um, an example. This is a simple vector field. Um, oh, you see, I have not replaced all variables. So um, this should be uh, at that here it is minus y and x. And this is um, here, these are circles in each plane um, um, describing that. And what's, and this is even possible uh, to render inside uh, using the 3D um, stuff uh, of JSX graph. What I what have I what have I done? I have generated, uh, I have chosen a box and then I, I have three nested for loops to uh, run all over these loops and uh, I can choose uh, and I can compute this vector and I can add this vector. Um, and even this can be added or used inside uh, stack questions. I will show you one example. And here, my, uh, my idea was the same to automate uh, as much as possible. And therefore, I have generated a list of vector fields. And then I can compute the curl of each of these vector fields. Um, I, won't, I only have to open uh, this to uh, start the preview. And now I will change a last, uh, one of the last times my screen.
here um, you just see the same uh, it's the same vector field we just have mentioned here in this example I even display as a vector field and then uh, one has to choose the proper vector field uh, which um, is corresponding to the curl so in the real question one would uh, avoid um, this part and only say okay what which vector field is the the is a curl of the displayed one. So if I reload this, um, was not um, the effect I, this is what I uh, liked, uh, what I tried to show you. So it is very easy to um, store several vector fields and here even it is important that the student can drag around to get an uh, idea of this vector field and one other um, uh, possibility of this question could be to display the curl of the vector of a vector field and then uh, that the student could choose the proper uh, vector field we where the curl um, is uh, displayed of and so uh, with these ideas I have in mind and I start to work with, um, I will stop now. And uh, so I thank you for your attention and um, all comments and new ideas are welcome. Thank you.